So there's been a shift of emph emphasis. Um, uh, much more interest in short-term or real-time evaluation on focusing on sort of what drives effectiveness today or, you know, or yesterday as opposed to, you know, what's, what's, where's our brand going over the last year or two years or so. So very much more sort of short-termism, if you like. And there's a good side to that. Um, but I think we're in danger of losing sight of the importance of long-term evaluation. Yeah. That's one of the things that was kind of motivating the book that we wrote, really, yeah. was to, 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 to re-emphasise the importance of long-term. I mean, there is this huge misconception, growing misconception in the business world at the moment that if we can just keep achieving short-term success, if we can just have one good quarter after another, that somehow that will add up to long-term success. And that, of course, turns out to be fundamentally untrue. And that's the, what the analysis we've been working on has demonstrated. But also, I think it's becoming a generally appreciated uh, or generally understood issue in business, that if you run businesses for the short term, then by and large, they underachieve in the long term in, in more ways than simply marketing. What we see in our data and in also data from other forms of research is that a big part of the effect of advertising doesn't come today or tomorrow or next week. It comes over the next sort of couple of years. Um, and in fact, with some media, like for example TV, I think it's fairly well established that about half of the payback comes in, in year two and beyond. Um, so anybody who is only focusing on short-term um, results is missing half of the payback. I mean, Les has just um, alluded to uh, a, you know, a PwC study, which was a long-term model of the impact of, of TV, which showed indeed that around about half of the payback came in years to and beyond. And there is a, a kind of mirror in that, in the data we have, although we can't look at it in that precise um, detail. What we do know is that the long-term, uh, on a number of metrics, the long-term effectiveness of this emotional brand building approach is around about twice the long-term effectiveness of, of the rational approaches, which tend to, tend to achieve all they're going to achieve within about a year or so and then flatline, whereas the emotional approaches keep building over years. So there's a kind of consistency between our data and the sort of study we've looked at, which shows emotional approaches accelerating and building over many years, over years two and three, still building, whereas we find rational campaigns are beginning to flatline after, you know, after a year or two.